Okay. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I have a mess on my table because I've been busy with all these little cute BB craft stuff that I've been putting off. So I thought I would just share it with you and and have a relaxing video here doing these. So I was blessed with this skin from Josie, remember? And I went ahead and I found some really good spots for my cabochons. Okay, so this is gonna be another set. This will be the part of the necklace, the earrings, and this will be for a bracelet. But I'll just show you a little bit of how I do these. And you can get all of this stuff on BB Crafts, okay? If you're ever interested in making jewelry, they have them just about anywhere. A lot of jewelry places. So, um, I went ahead and found the spots that I like, you know, and diamond glazed it down let it set for a good 12 hours. Ruby, I know my hands are always beat up, but I use my hands a lot. I've been pulling weeds too all last week and that didn't help. So when I put these down, I try not to go around anywhere else and destroy spots because you might want to use those. This was a canvas. You can use your skins, straight skins. You can pour them. Let's see, which other one do I have? I use photo paper. Okay. So once you glue that down, but once you put it down, I'll show you how to do it. You don't want to move it around too much because it sticks quick. I am enjoying this for the past couple days. That's why I have such a mess here. <laughs> so then I will take this, take 220 sandpaper, because you could use a nail file or whatever. This just kind of helps shape it and it helps pick up some of the glue around it. You know? See, there we go. And then I will take my scissors again. <laughs> I hope this is not a long, long video, but it's okay if it is. Just go around and snip wherever. Then I'll take this end and kind of go like this to remove any of the glue that might have been around the sides. See, there's a big glob right there. It won't scratch the glass either. Right on. So there we go. So I have all this from her beautiful skins. I love in this set. So I already did the the necklace pendant. So yeah, you can get these things on BB Craft too. I'll put the link in my description. Um, you can get snaps on there. Oh, lots of stuff. Chains, anything to do with, you know, jewelries and stuff. Oh, crafts, like crazy. But isn't that beautiful, guys? So it's got silver in there. She put silver in. So pretty. So... Then what I'm going to do is take one of my snaps and make my bracelet first. I'll put that one in the middle because it's a little different. Take my E6000, lay it in there. 
I just give it a little twist, not too much. There we go, pushed firmly. That pretty. Look at the shimmer of that silver. So I'm going to do all those real quickly. And then we'll do the earrings, which I got from BB Crafts, you know. It's the Panda Haul. And I love them. So um, I'll finish these up because that is time consuming. Okay. So it's been raining this whole week, <laughs> which is awesome. Oh, wrong snap. That's for the small ones. They have different sizes. So you gotta get the right size cabochon for the snaps. Okay. And you can make your own. They have the pieces to build your own. That beautiful that's so pretty with her skins I can't wait to do these other ones too that I have now we're not gonna do all of them now the earrings where are they matching set for those so look at that's pretty you could see the metallic silver shimmer in there too And then here's the earrings from BB Crab. So you, you can actually put one on one side if you want to. And you can put one on the other side, you know, have an earring like that. But hmm, I'm not really crazy about too much. So I'm just gonna do one. So you make sure you get the front and hold it right. There we go. <laughs> oh, too much. I'm used to the big ones. That's all right. You can clean it up. Squeeze it down. Clean it up with some alcohol. Let me clean that one up real quick. I spaced it. Forgot I'm doing small ones. <laughs> so you just get a little bit of alcohol on baby wipe. There we go. That's good. And keep squeezing in a little. Get in your grooves. Because you don't want that stuff in there. Okay, that's pretty. And let me get one more earring. I have a mess here. Make sure you get the front. Right? Yeah, front. And that's the back. Did I get the wrong side? No. All right, so I'm good. Just a little bit this time. There we go. Clean them up a little. That's so pretty. Are we focused? So there's my set. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Let me put a chain on my necklace and there it is. Love it. So the I got these chains from them too. They're nice with that little 
uh, what do they call those? Claw lobster clamps or something like that. Oops. Pretty. Ah, that's a beautiful set. Thank you, Josie. Well, let's see. I have this one I made. This actually has some metallic, little shimmery gold in it. This was just off of some... You know, I just put some acrylic paint on my photo paper. But I'm going to do these earrings now. To match it. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll do that later. Because I want to show you some other stuff I have. So this one was actually a clear mold because you get these molds from BB crafts but um and then you can fit them in your frames you know so I made clear ones but I wasn't thinking that like do I have one so isn't that cute but it's a different mold but See, I wasn't thinking because then the background of the frame will show through. So, like these were clear. This was completely clear. But what I went ahead and did is I painted the back of the my resin mold here with these flowers. These were actually real flowers. And they turned yellow. Uh, so, dry your flowers first. And then this one slipped out of place, if you can, guys can remember on one of my videos. But I went ahead and painted the back of it bronze. So isn't that pretty? So we'll go ahead and we'll put one in there. Look at this one. So this was dry ones. So this was clear. It was real clear because I used that diamond glaze too. So I'm going to put that one and where's that huh. i'll have to get another one oh there's too much stuff in front of me i can't see things oh here it is These are pretty too. I am really loving these. So you just put a good amount. Let's see, then I just painted it and that's it. Push it in there real good. That's so pretty. With those dry flowers, those are dry, real flowers. So once you dry them, then they won't turn color. See how like this one turned color? Hmm. So I love that. Right on. And then I have another one. I figured I was just going to relax this week and do these. Something relaxing. There we go. That's pretty. And then I had the little bronze chains too for them. So let's see. What else? Oh. This one I have to laugh at because it was actually, I put the flower in upside down in my resin mold. <laughs> but that's okay. It's still cool looking. It's a dandelion, you know. I'm 
So I painted the back silver, metallic silver. That's pretty. That's cool. Then this one was one that was about ready to sprout with all, you know, the little fluffy down the lion thingies. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm going to put this one in with this bird one. I need to get some more. I actually like the small tubes of E6000 because they don't get so broken. That's pretty. <laughs> and then I have another one. I painted the back silver. It's a little flower. Let's see, which one was I going to put? This one's just a small little one. need much that's for sure and I like these because it's silver I, I really particularly care like sir silver That needs to get turned around. Oh man. Hold on, let me turn this different direction. Put, I want the stem more downward. There. Yeah, like that. That's pretty. So I'm glad. Yeah, you have to put paint the backs of them if they're clear. Because you're going to see your glue, too. If I would have left this clear, because I tried it, and I could see my E6000 underneath it. So I pulled it out right away. I'm like, no, I got to figure something out. So I just painted the back of it silver. This is so pretty. I love it. Well then, so I've been making quite a few out of those molds. And I have this pretty heart one I made. It's super pretty. So that's going to go into here. And I really like this one too. And I know you can't see the depth of it. Because is this even clear today? Yeah, it is. But it's deep. It goes deep in there and it looks like a rose to me in person. It's just hard to see those ones with the alcohol ink. Then I have this one too. It's pretty. So I have so many other ones too from my other molds. But um, so yeah, I'm going to finish this one. I have some shimmery make some earrings out of those and that's about it but this is a beautiful set that's going to be a pretty set is that going to be pretty and oh so if you're skidgish about bugs turn your head <laughs> Or if you feel bad for a dead bug, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I finally found me a scorpion. And what's really cool is I put this in some of that, uh, you know, the real clear resin from the epoxy resin store. The, uh, the liquid diamonds. But since I'm so blind and I need glasses, there was one bubble I didn't see down in the crack, but it's all good. But check it out. He's so metallic looking. So I have me a scorpion coaster. It's pretty neat. He was outside in my backyard when we were pulling weeds. We found him laying on the cement. 
and there was ants covering them. I know, that's gross, so sorry if I grossed you guys out. <laughs> anyway, that these are some of my other stuff that I finally finished. This That wood from the Arteza. And I'm taking some of these. I have so many pendants now to be putting on. Uh, I made one. Look how clear that is. With some rose petals. This one here. Super clear. Pretty little flower. And then I like this puzzle one too with the white little flowers in there. <laughs> well, that's about it. So I'm going to keep doing these because I have all these to cut out. And that's how you do it. I hope I didn't forget anything. Oh, yeah. Well, I was going to just show you real quick. So you would take like the capuchon, take your skin, and find the spot that you want. Move it around. Did I turn it sideways too? That way you can see if there's a shimmer of the metallic silver. That's a cool spot. Uh, but I'm not going to pick it because I'm very picky at looking. Anyway, so then I'll just find the spot, pick it up, take my diamond glaze, put it down there a little bit, and then press it down. Don't move it around a lot, just a little bit, and press it down, and then that's it. Because once it's that, this stuff sticks quick. You don't want to slide it around. Hey, let's look at my geode. Because I put a top coat on it. Ooh, it's prettier. Oh, yeah. See? Now I can't even feel that glitter. Isn't that pretty? I love this one. So yeah, I just put tape on the bottom. It didn't even drip off bad. Because I dripped it off a whole lot. I didn't want it real thick. Isn't that pretty? Well, I don't think I have anything else to show you. Well, I do. I need to do a, a video showing everything that I have dry. Because I do have quite a bit of new stuff. But we'll squeeze that in another video. I just wanted to do some of these with you. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I know it's a long one. I hope you enjoy it, relaxing with them. And don't get skittish over my scorpion. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, guys. Take care now, okay? I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.